The United States, uh, along with the U.S. Treasury and the State Department and international partners and some Afghan economic experts, have come to uh, announce the decision today um, that President Biden has set a policy to enable the 3.5 billion uh, Afghan reserves of the Afghan Central Bank to be used for the people of Afghanistan. Um, we found out about this story, according to our sources, we found out four days ago that, you know, the funds will be transferred to the International Bank of uh, Settlements in Basel, Switzerland. And uh, there will be um, a board of uh, trustees uh, who will monitor that the money is not used for any illicit activities. So uh, this, way they, this way they have bypassed the Taliban and the Taliban will not get their hands on uh, the money. Mm. And of course, there have been growing calls, not just from the Taliban, but also from the UN and other aid groups for money to flow into Afghanistan because of the growing need for those funds in the country. Explain to us how desperately Afghanistan currently needs these funds. Right now, the situation in Afghanistan is really bad. There's like humanitarian crisis going on. There, because it was born because of the decades of war and conflict in Afghanistan, the COVID-19 and the, uh, you know, the corruption that has been going on for decades as well. So uh, the hospitals are out of medicines. Um, uh, a lot of people are facing drought and uh, they don't have basic necessities, like they don't have food to eat. So every day they're struggling to get food on their plate. Um, this specific, uh, they're calling it the Afghan fund, they w the, the U.S. is making sure that this fund will be used uh, in order to enable, in order to uh, help the Afghan econ uh, economic situation, which will give a lot of people jobs and will also help uh, uh, people to uh, run their own businesses.